United Nations Research Institute for Social Development, UNRIS, is an autonomous UN agency engaged in multidisciplinary research on the social dimensions of contemporary problems affecting development. Introducing UNRIS. Nestled within the Palais des Nations in Geneva, Switzerland, you can find our headquarters. UNRIS was created in 1963 as a part of the first United Nations development decade. The decade emphasized a new approach to development, which recognized that purely economic indicators of progress provide only limited insight and might conceal as much as they indicate. Since its inception, the agency's research has been considered pioneering in developing social indicators and broadening the development debate. Within the UN structure, UNRIS has uh, an autonomous status, but we have very close ties with the UN Department for Economic and Social Affairs, and we report to the Commission for Social Development, which is part of the UN Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC. UNRIS examines the field of social development from a multidisciplinary perspective. For UNRIS, social development means improvements in social welfare, well-being, social institutions, and social relations. UNRIS has a, a mandate to conduct policy-applied research in the field of social development. And by that we mean it should, we should look into social problems that are con considered important by the UN system and the international development community more generally, and also obviously to look into the effectiveness of government policies and the policies of international agencies. UNRIS acts as a bridge between academic research and policy making. It brings researchers from different countries together to carry out cross-country comparative analyses. Since, since the 1990s, uh, a lot of our work is focused on, on five dimensions. One is looking at how the well-being and livelihoods of particular social groups are affected by, by things like globalization, economic liberalization, the, the development of new technologies such as information and communication technologies, processes of democratization. We've paid particular attention to gender dimensions of development and how the situation of women is affected both through their increasing participation in the labor market, through their roles in the household and also in the political arena. A major program of research over the past 10 years has related to social policy where we've been looking at the key role of social policy not only in relation to social protection, but also in relation to promoting economic development, economic growth, and in, in relation to redistribution and what's, what we refer to as the care economy. Uh, another important area which, over which we've conducted research over several decades now is looking at the role of civil society and social movements and how they affect patterns of development and how they can influence public policy. And a fifth area is related to the role of the private sector, and in particular transnational corporations, and how they are affecting both positively and negatively development processes in, in developing countries. The major research area is that of social policy and development. Uh, UNRWA defines social policy as public interventions that impact on social relations, on social welfare, on social institutions. Um, it is a very broad definition and for us it is important to emphasize the fact that social policy uh, is integrated with economic policies and both of them pursue national, social and economic goals. UNRWA's research aims to broaden awareness of key challenges to sustainable development such as environmental issues, corporate social responsibility, social justice, corruption, migration, and gender equality. UNRWA emphasizes the fact that social policy in a development context goes beyond social safety nets and poverty reduction. And that social policy is concerned with social protection and with the economic development and with democratization together. UNRWA research has uh, contributed to the growing recognition, I think, that's taking place now of the key role of social policy in the development equation. And that it's certainly not enough just to focus on aspects to do with economic growth and technological change, 
but social policy plays a key role not only in relation to social protection and, and redistribution to promote equity, but also facilitates uh, growth and productivity and is obviously crucial in the whole area of, of care. Gender and development is also a key research area of UNRIS. Well, I think gender inequalities um, have been on UNRIS research agenda for a long time, you know, and uh, the subject really continues to be important uh, despite the many years of research that UNRIS and many others have done in the area and also despite uh, the amount of advocacy that has gone on because gender inequality continues to be a major source of inequality in the world today and this is not something that's confined to just developing countries. Gender inequalities are also uh, very uh, prominent in many developed parts of the world. And I think for UNRIS the question really is uh, what kind of development trajectories, what kind of um, economic and social policies can be more effective in terms of reducing the amount of inequalities in terms of gender which exist you know, throughout the world and which intersect with other kinds of inequality that again UNRIS has been very interested in. So un UNRIS research examines how different social groups, for example women, farmers, migrants, the rural and urban poor, are affected by, by different processes of, of economic development and democratization, things like public sector reform, migration and so forth. And more recently I think the work that UNRIS did on gender and social policy and more specifically on the unpaid economy of care uh, in a development context has been quite um, uh, useful for researchers in the developing countries uh, as well as for those who work on comparative research on care because much of that research on care has been focused on developed countries and so the UNRIS research which focused on different regions in the developing world was adding a new dimension to the global debates. Students, academics and policymakers alike have been influenced by UNRIS's research publications. The status of UNRIS as an autonomous organization that can engage freely in independent thinking allows it consistently to address sensitive issues. As such, it is a highly valuable asset to the United Nations family. UNRIS is my favorite among the smaller unsung heroes in the UN system. As the current research agenda is, is, is coming to an end, uh, we're in the process of developing a new program. And designing a new program typically involves a, striking a balance between continuity and change. So there will be a few core areas that are likely to remain, for example, most probably social policy, gender dimensions of development, and, but we will also introduce new issues that uh, are emerging issues of concern to the international development community. The current global situation, issues related to food insecurity, migration, climate change, and the social effects of the financial crisis are all highly relevant. UNRIS research has helped to improve our collective understanding of many of the social dimensions of development in countries across the world. Development has been dominated by different ideas at different times. Given the diversity of the world and the rapidity of change, this is as it should be. But if development efforts are to transform the world for the better, they must be informed by an understanding of how poverty and inequality operate, and how they may be challenged by forces of solidarity and social justice. Our commitment to strengthening the knowledge base supporting such forces remains as compelling as ever. For more information, visit our website, www.unris.org, or email us at info at unris.org.